Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying towards your grade seven, your grade eight or your grade nine. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hello, guys. I thought of sharing with you some basic solving for x as you um just for revision if you're in grade 8 and i thought this can be of benefit to you if you're struggling with equations just from the basic point of view now what i'm having here is uh, an example say solve for x and again don't panic because algebra is one of the most interesting part of um your math but now you need just to understand a few uh fundamentals or a few uh, some background that you need so if they say to you you are given x minus 7 remember you're solving for x and then they give you in this case x minus 7 is equal to 2 now when they are saying this meaning you must remain with x on one side of the equal sign and then you must remain with the number on the other side of the equal sign so now the when we are solving for x it means x must remain on one side in this case we've got x on the left hand side so now we don't want this minus 7 on the with x so if you look at this minus 7 and there is an equal sign i want this minus 7 to jump this particular equal sign and when it jumps this equal sign it changes from being negative because it jumped the equal sign it will become positive so what you're going to be having now is you're going to have x is equal to 2 but because 7 was negative now it jumped the equal sign it changes from negative to positive it became 7 plus i mean 2 plus 7 there you have got your answer now is x is equal to 2 plus 7 is a 9. Now, always the thing with uh, solving for x, you can test your answer. So remember the question was, uh, in this case, x minus 7 is equal to 2. And we said our x is 9. So where there is an x, you are going to substitute with a 9. So you'll have 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. Now what is 9 minus 7? 2 is equal to 2. You can see that the left hand side balances with the right hand side. Therefore it's a proof that your answer for x is equal to 9 is correct. Now the second one is we are still solving for x. It says 3x is equal to 30. Now when I'm given it like this now Initially, I had an, a subtraction, whether it was an addition or a subtraction. What it means here, it means these two numbers are separated by that sign. So x and 7 can be separated to a point that 7 can leave the x by jumping the equal sign. But in the second one, 3 and x are combined or joined together by a multiplication sign. It is not possible for x to jump. It is not possible. So now how do we solve such a case? When there is a multiplication sign, remember, the opposite of multiplication is division. That's when you come and say, I'm going to divide and divide. Why? Because it is the opposite of multiplication between 3 and x. There is a multiplication sign. So to oppose you have to divide by what you do not want. What is it that you don't want? You don't want 3 and you don't want 3. Then that is how the 3 can only be 
separated from x by division. Why? Because it was multiplying with the x. So division, multiplication. So you are going to have now x on one side, 30 divided by 3. You can test with the calculator. It will give you a 10. So that is how you can solve this. Don't be tempted to take 3 to the other side. As I said, this is not correct. Why? Because when you are multiplying, you cannot uh, make the 3 jump because it is combined. Now to test your answer here, remember it's 3x is equal to 30. Now we said, what is our x? Our x here was 10. So you say 3 times, as I said, there is a times there. 3 times 10 is equal to 30. Now what is 3 times 10? On the left hand side, 30 is equal to our equation which was on the right hand side. You can see that this balances. Therefore, our x is equal to 10 is correct. Again, we are solving for x here. I have got two things, I mean two um, scenarios on the left hand side and the right hand side again. No need for panic. You just need to understand what you are doing. Now, when you are adding, Remember, we have done addition of this uh, algebra to say if I have got x plus x, it's more like I have got the 1 there and the 1 there. When I'm adding 1 plus 1, I get 2x. That is my left hand side. I go to the right hand side. 5 plus 3, I get my 8. So this is now similar just like the previous example, which has 3x is equal to 30. Now I've got 2x is equal to 8. In the center between 2 and x is a multiplication sign. To get rid of multiplication sign, I have to divide. But I must divide by what I don't want. In this case, I don't want a 2 because I'm solving for x. So that the 2 cancel the x so that I'm left with only x or with 1x in this case. But the way to write is called to x. Now, 8 divided by 2, the answer is a 4. So you can see that uh, the answer that I'm getting there, it is a 4. Now I can test this answer. Now how do I test this answer? If I can write back the question I'm given, it was x plus x is equal to 5 plus 3 in this case. But I know my value for x, remember? My value for x here was a what? It is a 4. So where there is an x, I put a 4 plus 4, that's another x, is equal to 5 plus 3. Now what is 4 plus 4? 8. What is 5 plus 3? 8. So you can see the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means my answer is correct. Now last let us look at the last example here. Lastly, to say again, we're solving for x. Now, when you're solving for x in this scenario, similarly, you have got um, some mixed things here. You have got 3x on the left hand side, but you have got x on the right hand side. What does it mean? It means this particular x must jump the equal sign and join the 3x. Again, we have got minus 4. Don't forget, it's minus 4. Also, it must jump the equal sign to join the other number 10. Here, there is an equal sign. So anything that jumps an equal sign, the sign must also change. If it was positive, it will become negative. If it was negative, it will become positive. Now, let us start with the x. So you can see the x on my right hand side is positive. When it jumps, it will become 3x. From positive, it will become negative x. Don't forget that. Is equal to. Now I have got 10 on my right hand side, but my 4 was negative. It will become positive like that. So that is how these are combined or grouped together. The x uh, the variables uh, come together as well as the numbers come together. Now you are having 3x minus x. How do you solve that? If they say 3x minus x, you must ask yourself, what is minus x? 
minus x remember you need to have a number there and that number if it's just an x you must know that it is one so you can take your calculator and ask yourself what is 3 minus 1 because it's x and x so I can separate 3 minus 1 it becomes a 2 so you are saying 3 minus 1 which is in this case 2 but remember you are dealing with x is equal to 10 plus 4 it is equal to 14 now we are having as an example that was similar to the first one which was I mean this one says 3x times 3x is equal to 30 now we are having 2x is equal to 14 there is a multiplication sign in between them and only way to get rid of 2 is to divide by 2 divide by 2 so that you can cancel out the 2 and when you cancel out the 2 you are having in this case x is equal to 2 divided by um, 14 is equal to a 7 so that's what you are having there as your final answer x is equal to 7 but now of course you need to test your answer remember we started with 3x uh, when you are testing there minus 4 is equal to x plus 10 now we are going to input the value of x remember we said there is a multiplication sign between 3 and x so I'll have 3 times 7 because my x in this case is 7 so 3 times 7 minus 4 is equal to 7 which is my x remember x is 7 7 plus 10 so I can use a calculator on the left hand side to say 3 dot is times 7 minus 4 I get the answer I am getting a 17 so I've got 17 is equal to 7 times 10 is also equal to 17 so you can see that I'm getting my left hand side balancing with my right hand side therefore it means my answer for x is equal to 7 you can mark yourself correct so with equations you can actually mark your answers whether you are getting it right if it doesn't balance for example you got 16 on one side and 17 on the other side it means you did something wrong with your uh, addition and subtraction go back and solve it again so that you end up having something balancing now this is how you approach your equations i hope this was of benefit to you check me again where i do more of these examples um, on equations thank you